guys in this video we'll be talking about AWS Lambda polling and how it works so what you need to know is that you can use an AWS Lambda function for processing messages in an Amazon simple queue service so Lambda event source mapping supports standard queues and first in first out queues with Amazon SQS you can offload tasks from one component of your application by sending them to a queue and processing them asynchronously. Lambda pulls the queue and invokes your function synchronously with an event that contains queue messages. Lambda reads messages in batches and invokes your function once for each batch. When your function successfully processes a batch, Lambda deletes its messages from the queue. Now let's go ahead and see how we can create a Lambda application using queue processing. So you click on applications and you choose a sample application with, which has to do with queue processing. As you can see, it states that it uses an AWS Lambda function to process messages from an Amazon SQS queue. So let's click on it and it shows you the way it works with Amazon Simple Queue Service and AWS Lambda. Now let's continue explaining more about this. When Lambda reads a batch, the messages stay in the queue but become hidden for the length of the queue's visibility timeout. If your function successfully processes the batch, Lambda deletes the messages from the queue. If your function is throttled, returns an error, or doesn't respond, then the message becomes visible again. All messages in a failed batch return to the queue, so your function code must be able to process the same message multiple times without having any side effects. So guys, this is what you need to know about Lambda uh, SQS and...